pause for a moment of prayer. I want to bring to you John 3 and 16. It says that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And I said that to say that God loves you. God loves all of us. And if it were not so, God would have not sent his only son to die just for you. And our God is a God of love. And no matter what someone may have told you, no matter what the situation is right now, that from this point moving forward, God loves you. Continuously, God loves you. Effortlessly, God loves you. God's love is enduring. God's love is long-suffering. And God loves you, and he cares. Let us pray. God, we come right now thanking you for you. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your kindness. We ask today, Father, that you would continuously touch the minds and hearts of your people. God, we're praying for the one that has lost love along the way. We're praying for the one that is contemplating losing their mind. We're praying for the one that's dealing with heart issues. We're praying for the one that's dealing with mental issues. We're praying for the one that's dealing with matters of their own heart and the intent of other people. We're praying for the one that's struggling to make the next decision. We're praying that because of that God, and now at this moment, this individual, those individuals are contemplating suicide. And we pray now for their minds. Father, we know that you are a prayer hearer. We know that you are a deliverer. We know that you are a way maker. God, we ask, oh God, that you would now send your peace that will surpass all understanding. We pray in the name of Jesus, God, that you would touch now their hearts and touch now their minds, God. We pray that there will be a renewing of their minds, God. A renewing of their hearts, oh God. And by this renewing, we pray that there will be a transformation, God. To turn around their decision, God. We pray in the name of Jesus, God, that you would now loose your angels of protection. Loose your angels of care. Loose your angels of love. 
We pray that it would even meet them right where they are. God, we pray for the ones that have even experienced the loss of suicide, God. Whether it is their child, whether it is their mother, a loved one, oh God, someone that they know. We pray, oh God, that you would continue to keep their minds also, God. We know that the road is not easy and that sometimes it seems unbearable. But God, I pray, oh God, now that a peace, oh God, will rest upon their minds. Rest upon their hearts, oh God. Free them from worry and circumstance. We pray, oh God, even for the one, oh God, the child and including the adult, oh God, that's having to struggle on the job, to struggle at school, oh God, to struggle with family that they are being bullied by. Strengthen them now, God. Touch them now, God. We pray, oh God, that your love will be shown even now. We pray that your grace will meet them. We pray that today that they will have the understanding and knowledge to know that they are loved. We pray, oh God, that you would send a listening ear to them, God. The person that's crying, the person that has not been able to sleep, the person, oh God, that's walked even all night long. We pray for the children. We pray for the adults that are contemplating, that are standing on the edge. We pray that you would reach out. We pray, oh God, that someone would now touch, oh God, and comfort them. We pray that you would take now away the judgmental hearts. Take away and free the judgmental spirits. Take away and free the judge people, the judgmental people that will be speaking negatively. And we pray that you would surround them now in the name of Jesus. Surround them with people of love. Surround them with people that will care for them, not be judgmental towards them, but just love and listen to them, God. God, we believe in you. We believe in your power. We know that all things are possible with you. So God, I pray this prayer in the name of Jesus. And I plead the blood over everyone listening that in this season you shall have what you say and that you don't have to suffer in silence. You don't have to suffer alone and that you're not alone, that God is with you. God is for you. God is with you. God is for you. It's in Jesus mighty name that I pray. I shout hallelujah and I give God a praise just for you. God is listening. God is listening. God is listening. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. I love you. I love you with my whole heart. But remember, God loves you best. Hallelujah. We buy up all the channels for the shred and all the kids who went to heaven. Follow by some back to this along. We miss Trey every single day. The truth is, we will never forget the children we've lost. We may never move on or have closure. The reality is that we will honor, remember, and include them into our lives in a new way. Our children died but more importantly, they lived. This light shines as a symbol of a life and love remembered.
you know my name. You know my name. You know my name. Oh, how you walk with me. Oh, how you talk with me. And oh, how you tell me that I am your own. You know my name. You know my name. Cause your power is within me. No giant can defeat me. Why? Because you hold my hand. No fire can burn me. No battle can turn me. No mountain can stop me. Cause you hold my hand. You hold my hand. Mm. You know my name. You know my name. You know my name. Thank you for having the time for me. The fate that seems the invisible, that seems the incredible, fate that can conquer anything. I have the fate that seems the invisible. Expect the incredible, receive the impossible, say that can conquer. 